So I was lucky to be in Miami last week and we we're doing product strategy and an MVP for our client. We were meeting halfway, clients from Boston, uh, I'm from Columbia, and they had some business to do in Miami, so we met there and we were talking about a product and what we were talking was about uh, bringing his idea to life. So that's what I do, that's what we do. And I figured out why not do a video about it, how to bring your idea to life from the solution you're trying to, to propose to a problem, how to find customers for it, how to launch it, how to build it, of course, and now, let's get started. strategy session I was sitting down with the client and everybody who belongs to the project uh, nailing down what was going to be launched for an MVP and how to proceed uh, selling the product and, and bringing it out to the world which brings me why I did this video because some of you left a comment or two uh, in one of my previous videos on how you should approach building and launching uh, a SaaS product so uh, there's a few steps I follow and people I know actually successfully follow to build a product or not build it at all because you have to see one of the important things you need to do is uh, figure out if you're building the right product, if there's a market for the product, there are people willing to pay you money for the product. You don't want to spend too much time, development time, effort, money into a product that you don't know if there's going to be a market for. So the first thing you should do, validate the idea. So uh, first things first, uh, get started with uh, the problem. What solution are you bringing to the world? Is there a problem? Is this a problem or is this not a problem? I would always suggest entrepreneurs who get started uh, by solving a problem you have or your clients have or somebody else around you that you're very familiar with that industry there's a problem there and you bring a solution to it why two reasons one it makes you a field expert if you're seeing a problem probably you are uh, working around that problem so it makes you an expert in that field who else to bring a solution to that problem than you in, in the field um, second uh, it allows you to validate really early uh, with your customers, with your friends, or with your close circle of people, asking them directly, hey, I'm thinking of building this out, is this a problem you have, or if not, what problem are you having around this? Early on, you'll really catch on if it's a problem, and you can tweak the idea from that feedback and actually uh, put together a better solution. So that's the first thing I would do. Uh, I usually stay away from building out something that's not in my field of expertise. Since I build software products, I'm usually in the project management things I do or optimizing or um, I manage a few companies. For, for example, I'm building an HR app. Uh, well, some of you may know that I live in Colombia and there are no HR apps in the cloud base, at least in Colombia. So I'm building one for me and for my companies and then I'm gonna probably put it out there. Uh, I would think it's a problem, I already validated it. Now I'm at that stage where I'm trying to do the pre-sale. Uh, and I'm doing it for another product as well. So this is coming from my own background on how I'm actually doing it now. And I did it before and I've seen entrepreneurs and some of my mentors do it as well. So there's that. Uh, refine your solution. That's the first thing you should do. Uh, ask around, refine it, validate the idea. Your mom will give you amazing feedback, but uh, she will always think that anything you do is going to be awesome. So um, get her feedback by all means, but um, go further than that. Second thing you should do, uh, do some competitor analysis. Who's in the market? Who are, who are the big players? Uh, what specific niche of the market are they targeting in their landing pages, in their website, or uh, in AdWords. You figure out everything you need to do. Do a competitor analysis. What are they selling? How are they selling it? How much are they making? And um, who are they selling it to? In the end, you are going to want to identify a market, go very specific towards the niche, and get started there. So let's say, uh, again, uh, a project management product. Uh, 
you're gonna want to take a look at, I don't know, Basecamp, maybe Aha, maybe GetFlow, these apps that are all in the space and they're big players, who they're targeting, what their niches are, identify a niche that's either not occupied um, or they're not bidding too much and then get started there. So specifically you need to go, this project management software is aimed at agencies who do iOS apps. It's very specific and it allows you to target who, who these uh, who the market is, who, who your potential customers are. So do that competitor analysis, don't skip that one out. You'll learn a lot of, of, of the big players and trust me, uh, time and time again, history has uh, shown that a, a, a small company and a new company can come and disrupt an industry or niche at any time. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna talk to you about today is setting up a website. So that's the third step. Uh, I have other three other steps I'll talk about in my next video, which is gonna be part two of this one. So that third step, uh, set up a survey. Survey specifically should be aimed at people uh, that you can send out via an email, uh, you could run traffic to that survey, uh, or you can directly call maybe 10 or 15 people who you think are your perfect type of customers and ask them the same questions all over again. And these are questions are, uh, should be, there are three important questions you should be asking. So the first one is when it comes to doing X in your company or whatever problem it is, how do you solve it? And is this a problem for you? That'll give you insight on how they do their processes, if they're already using tools for this, if it's custom built by them, whatever it is. Uh, your second question should be uh, about their company. What market are they in? Who their customer are? What size company? It's gonna give you specifics on who they are, who actually has this problem. That way you can identify a niche and get started with that. And then lastly, uh, your final question, I actually forgot which one it was. And then of course, you should ask for contact details. If you're running traffic to the survey, um, some of these people you may not know, and if you find an interesting answer or a completely opposite answer of what you were expecting, you may want to get these people on the phone and talk to them. Find again what the problem is, write that down, find those things that keep repeating across different answers, and then you are identifying now uh, a common problem with these people, with, with, the, with the clients you're trying to get. So let's just do a, a recap. There's three things you should do before doing a single line of code. Uh, first one, your solution, validate it. Uh, in, an, in a good ideal scenario, you are bring in a solution to an area that you belong to or that you are an expert in and that makes you want to solve this for your customer or even if it's for you or for startups just like you because you're passionate about it and you know about it and in the end part of your marketing is going to be by educating your customer on the problem and then showing your solution so if you're an expert in that field if you're an expert in that it gives you a leverage and a step ahead to do that Two, you want to do competitor research. Find their keywords, find how they're targeting their customers, who they're targeting, what markets, what niche, write it all down, and then figure out how you're gonna take a piece of that pie. And then number three, you should do a survey. Uh, send traffic to that survey, ask friends and family, uh, ask customers, uh, figure out ways to get a lot of responses to a survey. If you don't have access to getting a lot of people, then figure out 10 or 20 people that you could get on the phone really quickly and ask them those questions in that survey. All of this information is gonna uh, make you think about the problem, think about the market, think about the solution, and think about what people need. It's This sounds logical now that I'm explaining it, but you would figure out that a lot of people and other startups miss all these steps. At this point, you should know, okay, my original idea was a problem and I need a solution, or my original idea was uh, a crappy idea and I need to pivot or come up with something else because there's no market for it. That way, you're not spending money other than your own time figuring this out and then moving on to the next step. Now in my next video, I'm gonna cover the three next steps you need to do, which is setting up a website, pre-selling your product, and then building the MVP and launching it. So you basically be doing, uh, setting up your offer for your product, 
actually taking money from people before the product exists and using that money either to validate that there's a market or if it's at a good price point that can help you uh, you can even use that to fund development of the MVP. So hopefully I'll be posting that soon too. Thank you guys so much for your time and sorry about the lack of updates. Anything I say is going to be an excuse, uh, but hey, I'm back. Bye.